is up, y'all? Academy of Kicks back at it again with another fire uh, real versus rep comparison. So let's go ahead and get into it. Jordan 3, Fragment Edition. Letting you have an overall uh, observation here of the uh, materials and the shape of the sneakers themselves. So see if you can notice the differences between the two. Okay. So this one here is the authentic version, and this is the replica version from Coco. I'm going to get into uh, some of the similarities and differences now. The, the main flaw that I noticed between the uh, rep and the retail. So this is the retail version. Notice the orientation of these perforations up there on the upper. They kind of uh, go diagonally in relation to the uh, sneaker. And when you get to the replica version, they are parallel with that part of the shoe. So that's the only flaw that I really noticed right off the bat. Something a little disappointing is that this is already yellowing a little bit here on the back. I don't know if you can really pick that up on the camera or not, but kind of towards the edges, it's getting a little uh, a little cloudy. But other than that, I want to say that the uh, quality of the sneaker is really good. The leather is nice and buttery. And then something I noticed is that they've changed the uh, thickness of the tongue. So here on the replica version, you can see that the shoe is nice and buttery as well and they also have adjusted the thickness of the, the shoe, or the tongue of the shoe. Looking back at the inside, you can see it has the Fragment branding. And then same thing there, that's pretty accurate. Looking at the uh, embossing on the authentic version, notice how uh, how deep that is with the circle around the fragment logo and then this one is not quite as embossed but it's still decent uh, I want you to look at the uh, font here I noticed on the rep cut it's a little bit thinner and here is the authentic so let's go ahead and get them both in the frame so you can kind of see authentic is below replicas on the top And one more thing I really can't remember what shoe was on. Yeah, and then they, they don't know, put a little key tag there. That doesn't really happen with the Authentics, but this could use a little bit better gluing here on the replica version. Authentic replica. Notice that the bolding on the uh, replica is just slightly bold, a little more bold. But other than that, shape and uh, overall materials are very decent here. So here's the authentic. I wanted to show you the outsole. Look at the stars on there. And then here's the replica. Pretty decent overall. I don't think you're going to be able to tell the difference just based on the outsole, and they did a really good job here on that, but they're gonna get dirty, so.